Hey guys, it's me, Rebecca Black, the Bexa Boss Lady. It has been a while since I filmed a video. Um, last time we chatted, our pug Louie had passed away. And this time we're chatting, you get to meet Willow. This is Willow. Say hello. Say hi. This is Willow, you guys. She is our new rescue. She's a Basset Hound Jack Russell Terrier mix. She is about little more than one years old. And she was rescued from um, a bad environment where she lost her eye because they neglected her health. And obviously here is Winston coming back for a video. Um, what is he doing? Making a appearance in our video. But I thought I would show you a haul and I haven't done a haul video in a really long time. But since I moved to Connecticut, I've kind of found my groove with places that I like to go. And we recently went for the 50% off birthday uh, shopping trip you get at the Goodwill here with my husband because his birthday is next weekend or this weekend. And so I was able to get some really great stuff. Um, really, I haven't been filming videos for a couple reasons. One, I just have really been hard on myself about how much weight I've gained, honestly. And making videos, seeing myself on camera, it's just, it's just kind of a reminder of that. Um, and I was talking to my husband about it the other day and you know, he's like, you shouldn't worry about that. Your migraines are almost under control, which I can do another video about that if you're interested. Um, it's not some squirrely weird method. It's just, I've been taking Mgality and it's working. Um, and you know, I just, I have a lot of energy now. I'm sleeping so much better. And I just think that moving had such a positive impact on me and my health that it's now, I have like a renewed interest and in, in energy and all this stuff that I've been doing. So being able to go and source and go to different places, it's been so much fun. Um, and you know, not feeling run down every day and having a lot of energy, it's really boosted my spirit. So um, that's where I've been. It's really, there's nothing wrong. A lot of you have sent me messages and I appreciate it so much. I've just been focusing on other things. One of the other things that I've been focusing on is I started a little Etsy shop. I kind of have found a art, um, I don't know what you call it, modality or method um, that I really, really like. For those of you who may know or may not know, I used to decorate cakes just as a hobby and I really wanted to get back into something like that. And recently I found resin art, so like geodes and beach scenes and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Um, I haven't totally landed on an Etsy name yet. Right now it's Bexa Loves Resin, but I don't know if I love that. So that's what it is right now on Etsy. But I'll show you a couple things that I've done that are on there. The first thing is this um, cheese board. So it's like a agate um, geode. It has quartz and semi-precious stones on it. And then this is gold leaf. Um, which is really cool. So this is actual wood board and that is the design for that one. Um, I also made this for my best friend, Eleni, who's been on videos, but it's a Lazy Susan and it's the beach scene, Lazy Susan with, you know, clouds and waves and stuff. So that I need to ship to her. Um, and I just started making these really cute like um, mermaid keychains. They're actually really sparkly if you're under the light or these Mickey Mouse ones. Um, and so they're small and they're big and whatever, but that's what I've been doing. I've been trying. One day I woke up and I realized I had been watching so much Netflix that I had to do something else. And so I went back and I reinvigorated a hobby and turned it into something fun. And it's a hobby that I can sell and make money on, so that is cool with me too. Um, but let's get started. I, <laughs> yesterday, when I went to the store, they rolled out a huge lick, lick uh, rack of vintage Lily and some Lily that people donated. So I basically scooped it on up like I was on su supermarket sweep and I'm going to show you what I got. Um, and I also have a huge pile of stuff. So hopefully, um, you know, we can get through some of that today, but this is a really cute, all of these are small sizes. They're like extra small zeros, twos and fours. 
Um, but this one has sailboats on it with like a nautical theme and it has roping for the belt. This one's a size extra small, but it's like a fit and flare. Um, it's a really, I think this is a cute pattern. These are Lily, vintage Lily, um, like Caribbean island print pants. So they have island life, they have seashells on them, they have little signs that say um, Aruba Lily, One Happy Island, Puerto Rico. Um, so these are really neat. And these are just patchwork, vintage Lily short. Oh, this is a skirt. This is a skirt. And we've got, this is a wrap skirt, these shorts. This one I'm going to have to wash. It's got a little bit of a mark, some marks on it, but this one is a cute print. It's got like Hawaiian prints on it. So I'm going to get that, that one. I had to get those little marks out. This one is actually new with tags. This is called um, Elephant Ears, and it's the Friar Shift Dress. So but this one's also like extra smaller, a zero, a zero. Um, so you can see Shift Dress here. Uh, this one is a vintage Lily size two dress and it's got like buildings on it. I don't know if you can see the buildings and palm trees, things like that, fountains. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like an Italy print. I don't know. I have to, I have to do some research on these because I don't know Lily like that. All right, we got some vintage high waist shorts. These are just pink floral. And these are a size two, these are cotton spandex lily pants. And these also have the island, like the happy place, Aruba, that stuff on them. Um, all right, vintage lily, yellow and blue. Um, this one has giraffes and uh, monkeys and horses and rhinoceros. It's like some kind of a a safari. Oh, this is a squirt. So this is actually a squirt and it has the animals on it. You can see the little cheetah and the rhinoceros. This is a dress. It's also vintage size four and it's got the ties on the side and it's really pretty. This one is a newer tag, newer style. So if you don't know the difference between the Lily tags, the white Lily tag is vintage. So this is the older style. This is another skirt, a lot like hibiscus on it. And then this is the pink label is the newer, their newest label. So this pink is the newer label. And this is a size 12 skirt with pockets. It does have pockets. This is a vintage, these are vintage shorts. They have seahorses on them, so that's pretty cute. And this one's a ruffle skirt, size zero lily with little flowers on it, little ruffles and flowers. So those are pretty cute too. Okay, next up is the St. John collection and this is a really pretty cream color and it has the gold buttons on it uh, that have little icons on them. And you know, sometimes if you buy these St. John blazers and they're maybe in bad shape, um, the buttons, people sometimes will buy the buttons as replacement buttons. So um, same thing with like Tory Burch stuff. Don't um, hesitate to kind of think about the price point and look that stuff up if you don't think it's like good enough quality to buy and sell as a whole item. Okay, this is a Christian Dior vintage jacket. It's neat pink and black. Um, it doesn't have a size tag, so I'll have to do some estimating there. And there is some little marks on here, but I really think that I can get them out with a tied, tied strip or tied pen. So, I did go ahead and get this and the price was right. So 
I did get it. And some people, people will buy things with flaws. You know, don't let flaws, don't be afraid of flaws because sometimes people will buy them. Um, all right, this is an Escada. Um, cashmere. So this is an Escada cashmere blazer, jacket blazer. And it's like a camel color tan. And again, this is the this is a newer Escada label with the gold and the white. But this is a beautiful condition. This will give me a nice profit once that sells. This brand, I've seen some people post about this brand, and these were a really great price on these, so I did pick these up. There's a couple of them, but the brand is Habitat, and it's a linen sh linen blouse, um, and this these are a size extra large, large extra large, but they're just like a linen shirt, which I'll have to um, steam. But I got a couple of these, so this Habitat brand, and the tag is kind of cute. It says "clothes to live in." but they're made in the USA, which is, you know, something that I know a lot of people are looking for right now. And it's just a really, you know, nice looking shirt. You know, try to get that kind of stuff. Now this I loved and I kind of wished it was my size, but this is Henry Bendel, which um, if, if you're not familiar with that brand, um, this is a silk, 100% silk um, cardigan set. So it has the cardigan and the little um, tank that goes under it. So there's the tank, you know, and the cardigan. And Henry Bendel stuff um, sells pretty well now, depending on what it is. I should all, you should always preface things by depending on what it is. But because they are no longer in business, um, some people do look for their items. And this is just a Vince long sleeve top. This is a really pretty kimono from Akemi and Kin, or Akemi and Kin. This is an anthropology brand. Um, and this is a floral, like kimono, cardigan style um, top. I'm gonna show you the back so you can see. I think it's, I mean, it's polyester. It's not silk or anything. Um, yeah, it's polyester. And if you don't know this already, if you look at the RN number, because Anthropology and Urban Outfitter brands are different, the RN number for that is 66170. So if you ever see that, you wanna look it up and see if that brand is an Anthropology brand or you know an Urban Outfitters brand, and that way you'll know. Sometimes they'll say made for Anthropology, um, and even the Anthropology tags now are saying Anthropology on them, and I actually have an example of that um, in this pile of stuff. Um, this is just a Vince medium cashmere sweater. So it's just like a classic black cashmere, cashmere sweater. If you don't know Vince, it's a, it's an expensive, um, brand, especially cashmere and wool and those types of things. This is a J crew Merino wool men's extra large, um, pullover sweater V-neck. And I've been a lot more selective with the J. Crew that I've been picking up. Um, anything that's like merino wool, cashmere, um, the the like nicer styles or the collection or you know the nicer fabrics, those are the ones that I'm tend to picking up now. The stuff that I'm not picking up are like tank tops and t-shirts and and those sorts of things. Okay, this is a Sundance. Um, Sundance blouse and it's kind of cute because it also has buttons in the back. So it has buttons in the front and it has buttons in the back to give more of a fitted look for a button down shirt. These are just ties I got. I thought maybe my stepdad would want these. This one's a Jay McLaughlin. Um, this is a vintage Jay McLaughlin. This is the old tag for that brand. Um, but this just has like little things on them. It was like $2. So I figured he might want that. Um, and this one's an elephant, like elephant. I don't know. I thought maybe a Republican would want to buy this. It's Firenze made in Italy and it is hundred percent silk. 
it was a good deal, good price. I have been picking up kid stuff lately and I think before I pack their suitcase, I am going to do a niece, nieces and nephew haul video just to show you all the stuff I've thrifted and collected in the past seven months for my nieces and my nephew. Um, but this is Janie and Jack size five and it's a little too big for them because my nieces are, are babies. But um, this is just too cute to pass up, especially for you know the holidays coming up. This I kind of wished was my size. It's a Pima Cotton Polo Ralph Lauren um, like crew neck sweater with the um, the lace grass grain, um, I don't tie up, whatever you're trying, like shoelace thing. There's a ton of crew cuts in Connecticut. Crew cuts must have like, they must make so much money in Connecticut. But this is a little crew cuts jacket. Again, this is too big for my nieces um it may be in five years when they're a size six seven i will still have it hopefully not i don't keep stuff that long but this is a little i just thought this little denim jacket for girls was so adorable this um most thrift stores don't know this brand um but the iviva 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 is the children's brand which they no longer make for for i for lululemon geez i can't talk today um, and so if you look at through the pants, I'm trying to find the logo for you guys so you can see it. It's usually right on the leg here. They are the softest leggings. Um, but this is the, this is the logo. So, you know, Lululemon, you look for the little curly Q or the, you know, the up, upside down horseshoe. So this is the Iviva, um, and they have pull tags similar to Lululemon. So their tags you know, look like this, but the, these are a size 10 and, um, they're not usually marked up. So, you know, you, and they don't make them anymore. So people are looking for this brand on eBay and Posh and all the other places. Uh, these are Lily Pulitzer. Again, this is the newer tag, the pink tag. And these are like a blue wave, um, giraffe style, uh, linen pant. And they're not lined, but it is a pretty, oh no, they're cotton. This is 100% cotton. They definitely feel like linen. Um, so they're like a short, you know, crop length. My mom just ordered some stuff um, from this brand, um, from their catalog, but this is Gretchen uh, Scott Designs. And I like their tag. It says, laugh more, gripe less, ignore critics, say yes, order dessert and love life. But this is a gorgeous embroidered pool cover up or tunic and it wasn't marked up it was a good price of course i had to pick that up um i feel like i'm living in the land of the skinny people too because a lot everything that i've been picking up well mostly stuff that i'm picking up like the lily and that kind of stuff are all size like twos and fours um all right th these are anthropology pilcro um printed capri pants and they have um like paisley on them they're really really kind of cute i think this is another one of those habitat shirts this one is a floral and it's a size extra large you can see that this is soft surroundings and I'm really, lately I've been more particular with soft surroundings too. I'm only picking up more unique styles or larger styles. So this is a nice kind of oversized shirt, size large. Um, and again, the material is soft. I think that's the whole premise of their brand, soft surroundings. This brand, COS or COS, I've never really heard of this brand until we moved here. Um, I don't ever even remember, I shop a lot and I don't ever remember even seeing a store named this except up here, but um, it says collection of style is the brand. Um, but again, this is 100% wool uh, pullover sweater. I'm really stocking up on winter items right now. I haven't been buying a lot of summer stuff this year. I just feel like if people are at home and they're not really going anywhere, they're just wearing, you know, they're not like wearing pajamas all day. Um, Okay, this is one of those tags I was talking about that say um, by Anthropology. So this is a Maeve by Anthropology, and you can see on the tag here it says 
by Anthropology. This is a size uh, 16 dress and it's a long sleeve uh, pretty dress. I might actually try this on. This might fit me. This is really pretty. I have all these clothes now and you know, I, I'm like torn because I want to sell them, right? Because I have all these nice clothes that I've thrifted for myself. But then I'm like, next year I'll be able to wear all this stuff. So why would I sell them now? But I just feel like they're nice. It's like money sitting in my closet. I don't know. Am I the only one that does that where you thrift all these beautiful clothes, but then you wear Target and like Old Navy and Target stuff and Old Navy jeans all the time? Um, I don't know. All right. This is a J. McLaughlin uh, cardigan sweater. And this is actually new with tags. So we got this baby. It's really nice, really pretty. It's a great little cover up for the fall. This is another one of those habitats. This one's like a softer material, a jersey knit-ish. It's not linen like the others, but it is a larger size. It's a size extra large. And somehow I ended up with two of these, but I have two Madewell denim sh jean shirts, both size small, and they're both from different Goodwills. Um, but so this is like the denim, you know, kind of distressed look. This is another Sundance popover top. It's just blue striped. I guess it's not a popover. No, it buttons all the way down. Um, and then the back is has a little vent to it. So I, I've just been trying to pick up more like classic or different styles. I really am kind of sick of the same old, same old. Uh, Citrone, Citron, this is another brand. It has a little lemon in the um, tag. But this is a floral plus size top blouse and um, it's a 3X and it's, this is a silk, this is 100% silk. So like these kind of brands, most stores don't know They're you know, it's not like, you know, you'll have things that are Old Navy and then Banana Republic and then Banana Republic will be marked up um, and you'll have Michael Kors, which is priced like insane. Um, and then you'll have those kind of things which sell pretty well, but they're not really known. Um, okay, this is a free people like blue cheetah top and it's like sheer, this is a size small. Oh, again, free people also, I've been really hesitant to pick this stuff up. Um, all right, J. Crew Collection. This is what I was talking about earlier. The it says collection underneath the tag here, so it says J. Crew, and then it says collection. This is their like higher end items, and this is a hundred percent silk, um, size small sequin like party skirt. Um, it's really this is a gorgeous skirt for. The holidays, my guess is if I, once I look it up, it'll be like a holiday edition. So they do allow a lot with the seat with the gold sequin. Um, this is a really nice J. Crew wool cardigan, size small. So as you can see, a lot of the stuff that I'm picking up is like winter and fall kind of things. Um, okay, these are new with tags. This is another tag that I wanted to show you. It says Featherbone by Anthropology. So it's another one that actually has Anthropology on the label. Um, and these are just gold um, wide leg, flare wide leg, like stretchy pants. Um, there is like a thread pulled there, but they're gold metallic. They are lined um, and they're a size small. And these retailed for 108 bucks anthropology this is such a pretty vintage dress i just could not leave this behind um it's 100 percent silk made in korea aj bari but it's just such a beautiful vintage style dress with the ruching it's in excellent excellent condition it's got the sweetheart neckline um and it's just so pretty it's a size six which means now it's probably a size four nowadays, um, you know, cause the vintage sizes tend to run a little bit smaller. Okay, we have Vineyard Vines. I live in Vineyard Vines land because Vineyard Vines is based in Connecticut. So, the, I mean, it's like everywhere here. 
but this dress I may this is like one of those do I want to keep dresses it's a large and it's one of those like stretchy knit it's a good color this color looks really good on me this blue and teal well I might have to list it and then see if I want to give it up <laughs> If not, I might keep it, wear it a couple times, wash it, and then sell it. Anybody else have a rotating closet? I definitely have like a constant rotation of things in and out of my closet. Um, okay, this is J. Crew. This is a um, six size tall, six tall. Um, and I have a couple of tall items from the same Goodwill. My guess is the same person donated it. But this is their like um, really nice wool sheath dress. And it's black. Um, you know, and the thing about these is if you're on a Zoom meeting, you can still, you know, you can see that you're wearing a nice thing on top. That's what everyone is saying. Right, Willow? Right? That's what everyone is saying. They are. They're saying we want to look pretty from the top and then we are going to wear pajamas at the bottom. So basically, anytime I talk to her, Winston has to come supervise. Um, all right, this is Eileen Fisher Woman, size 2X, and this is a long sleeve or 3 fourth sleeve um, dress and it's pretty because the bottom has this like netting or lace you could probably wear this either as a pool cover-up or a dress I know I know you want to do you want to talk to the people do you want to talk to them say hello you could talk to the camera hmm all right this is a North Face hoodie the green letters it was really a good price so I picked it up Again, Vineyard Vines, when you, when you list stuff like this, I tend to add words like preppy, east coast, sailing, coastline, shoreline, Ivy League, any of those kind of um, uh, styles will, will help you get results when it comes to this, like preppy. Um, these are 33, 32. I haven't checked the actual inseam to see if they've been shortened or not, but they're hundred percent cotton men's pants. Okay. This, I, I don't know why I picked this up cause it was pretty cheap, but it's a Saks Fifth Avenue blouse. It's hundred percent silk. It says it's a size 24. Um, but I, I'm not sure I got to measure it. Um, but it's just a silk, pretty, pretty silk blouse. You know, a lot of the plus size stuff is either really cheap looking or cheaply made or ugly. So I've been trying to add some nicer like looking pieces to my my plus size sales. Um, OK, so we have Lands and this was a great price. So I picked this up again. The girls can't wear this yet, but this is just a little like disco ball. Um, one of those ones that flip up and down sequin cardigan. This jacket I love. It's like an Aztec. Um, it's Ralph Lauren, size petite, large. It gives me like Harley Davidson vibes, but it's got these Aztec beading on the back, boho festival, and then the Aztec um, beading on the front. So it's got it on the front and the back. And the other th cool thing is a lot of jean jackets are boxy. And this one actually has um, like a stretch and elastic on the side to make give it more of like a fitted silhouette. Um, so this is actually really cute. And jean jackets are just really cute in general. Okay, we got a Pendleton made in USA vintage plaid blazer. I love picking these up. I do. I just love it so much. I love it so much. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I know, excuse me. We tell them, say hello. Say hello. All right, so this is a Masuk um, blouse, plus size blouse. It's just a basic blouse. Um, but this, this brand is typically better in the bigger sizes. So we got the Masuk there. Again, Eileen Fisher. I've only been picking up bigger sizes. So this is Eileen Fisher Woman. This is like a teal velvet blouse, which you really can't, I don't know, it just turned me yellow, but, and I have a dog poking me in the back to pay attention to her. See? <laughs> what are you doing? 
All right, this, I got two gorgeous vintage sequined. This is a sequin blazer. Um, and this one is Lily Rubin. This is absolutely stunning. And I feel like if this fits, it may have to go hang in my closet for a while. But it, it doesn't have a size tag, but it is just the most amazing vintage sequin piece. It's so heavy and so nice. Same thing with this one. It's the black tie collection um, and it's 100% silk. It's super heavy with all the beading and the sequins. Um, and it is just a gorgeous blouse. So I picked, I used to pick these up a lot more if you watch my videos from way back. Um, but I haven't really found as many here. And so now that I found a few, I definitely had to pick them up. All right, this is a size 12, new with tags. I don't typically pick up Michael Kors, but I just couldn't pass this up. This is brand new with tags and it's a midi length, um, like really full sequin skirt. It's like I said, it's new with tags, but it is just beautiful. Another just gorgeous sequin piece. My guess is maybe someone bought it to wear to an event and then they're like, well, I'm not going to the event, so I might as well donate it. Um, all right, it's just this small Madewell sweater, Nike golf shorts, a squirt, a skirt. Um, so you got the flat front and the skirt in the back. These are so pretty, 100% silk, um, Nanette Lepore. Uh, shorts but they're like a squirt so they're more like a squirt but they're just this beautiful prints with the flowers um another ralph lauren golf with the pink pony people love the pony so this is just a golf uh cardigan cotton i'm not familiar with this brand but it was really pretty and it was really cheap so i picked it up it's called um, in Indica, I-N-D-I-K-K-A, -K -K New York. So, you know, my guess is it's like a New York brand, but it's just such a beautiful beaded tunic. Um, just, it's just beautiful. Okay, this is another brand that I, I'm not familiar with, Firth, F-I-R-T-H, but it's wool and cashmere and it's really really a pretty little cardigan so i did i picked this up this is so stunning this is a leather eli eli tahari eli tahari however you say that um size 10 100 leather um skirt and it is genuine leather it is just and the sides have like this tie to it with a bungee, like a, one of those bungee ties. Um, it does have pockets and it feels like butter. Oh, I guess this is a little different. So this is the other Madewell top I was talking about. I thought I had two of the same one, but this is more of like a chambray button down top. Okay. And this is this is all from one trip. So this is everything that I bought yesterday um, at my on my trip. Okay, this is a Jay McLaughlin, and this is another. Um, this is the older names, um, the older tag style on this, and this is a stretchy. Um, I don't know what you would call this print, um, but it's brown and orange, obviously button down shirt. This is a Bowden beautiful top, size ten. It's polka dotted and the front actually has a, I think that's the back actually, that's the back. The back has the collar, but it's a US size 10. Now, something to think about, um, about Bowden is if you don't know this, the older Bowden tags did not have the size difference between the US and the UK. So make sure if you have a Bowden tag that just has one size on it, you pay attention to whether it's actually a US size or a UK size because UK sizes are typically two sizes larger. Um, so like a US size 10 is a UK size 14. So you wanna actually take that into account. The other thing is if you find shoes that say like a six, but they look more like an eight, 
that's typically uh, another Europe. Those are sizes from Europe as well. So, you know, it's not always 37, 38. You can get a four, five, six shoe in European as well because I've purchased shoes in Ireland and that's how they were. Um, okay, another pair of Vince. Uh, another pair, another Vince cashmere sweater. This one's like a maroon purple color. This is a men's Lululemon uh, polar polo shirt. It's a small polo shirt. I'm almost done, I promise. Eileen Fisher, ooh, my voice cracked. Eileen Fisher, woman, uh, like jacket blazer. It doesn't have a size, but it was with all of the other ones that were like 2X and 3X. So my guess is that it's probably a 3X because it's a jacket. Um, and if you're gonna get a jacket, you, should, you know, usually you get the upper, the higher size, well, at least I do. So we'll measure that and I'll compare it against some other stuff that I have that are a 3X. Um, all right, these are a 10 tall J. Crew like cheetah pant, They're like linen cheetah print pants. All right, another J. McLaughlin, size extra small. This is the newer tag, the brown tag, um, and it's like a metallic-y black long sleeve top. This brand I have not picked up before either. It's called Silk Land. It's a 2X and it's silk and rayon, but it was just really pretty. It's like a, a midi length um, coat with this really gorgeous floral embroidering on it. Um, and it was a really great price, so I, I picked that up. I've got a Lily, or I'm sorry, Kate Spade size 10 silk dress. I did pay up for this, but it will, it will sell. I'll make a profit on this. Okay, and then let's see, I have, <clears throat> excuse me. This is an Athleta um, pullover sweater. I've got a Lily Pulitzer scarf that was just marked a dollar ninety nine, and I've been buying little um, hard goods, and I haven't been buying a lot, but I've been picking up really pretty vases and creamers, um, and they've been selling pretty well for a decent profit. So I'm gonna keep doing that. This one is just a really pretty like tulip um, style creamer vase, and it's a smaller one. It's hand painted in Japan. And then this one, the comps were all over the place for this, but it's Fitz and Floyd. Um, and this is so pretty. I just loved it. And like, even though if it won't sell for a profit, I might keep it. I mean, it's my mom might actually like this too. It's just so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna list that. But that's it. Do you wanna say hello? So thank you for watching us. So you see the camera and say, we will be back. Say now that I've done one video, it's like getting on a horse and huh? do you like getting on a horse? Thank you for watching. I missed all you guys. I miss your comments. Um, and I'm going to make a concerted effort to start making more videos again, because I know they're, they are helpful to all of you. Um, and it's fun to see what people are able to find to resell. So, um, all the links are below. If you want to check out my Etsy shop, Etsy shop, I'll add that below. Um, I've done some custom pieces as well. Um, that's pretty cool to be commissioned to do some art pieces. Um, and you know, I'm going to keep adding to the little, um, little molds and little keychains and have Halloween stuff and all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, my Poshmark store, my eBay store, all those links are in the description as well. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay safe out there. I will see you next time. Bye.